name is Iris Weinstein Hagi. I'm the daughter of Judy Weinstein and Gabby Hagi, who were both murdered on October 7th and are currently hostage. We have four siblings and they have seven grandchildren. And we're also from Kibbutz Nir Oz. My mother was born in uh, New York. And when she was three, they moved to Toronto, Canada. She's the eldest of three siblings. She was always a reader, a dreamer, always write poetry and stories. She wanted to like travel a little. Her friend told her, why don't you come with me to Israel? She said, you know what, fine. So she went with them to Israel and she just fell in love. She ended up being in the kibbutz as a volunteer and that's how she met my dad and she decided to stay. She was an English teacher for many, many years. Not only English, but also mindfulness. She really fought to get mindfulness into the education system. She had such a unique way of really understanding what it means spiritually to be content with the moment. I can't really talk about her without talking about my dad. They were so complete together. She was like the, the calm, the soft one, the gentle. You know, she was always like, it's gonna be okay, and, and very gently. And, and my dad was like such an advocate for doing the right thing and, and very passionate about it. And she kind of calmed him down with her softness and they really completed each other. My parents lived the life I think we all strive for. My dad would wake up very early. My mom would wake up a little after him. The first thing she would do is write a haiku on her Facebook, and then she would join him. They would do meditation and drink their coffee and go out for their morning walk. Material things never meant anything to both of my parents. They were striving to just feel happy and live their day as if it was their last. My parents take their daily walk, like I said, and I noticed that there's red alert. So I asked them what's going on, expecting them to say, ah, it's nothing, we'll be back in the, in the house. But they didn't say that. They said they were laying face down in the fields and that they're seeing hundreds of rockets over their heads. They said they were two kilometers far from the kibbutz. My mom called um, the kibbutz paramedic. She said that they were shot by terrorists on motorcycles that my dad was shot in the head and she was shot in her face and her arm. After 83 days, we found out that uh, my mom was also murdered that day. They took both my dad's body and my mom's body together into Gaza as a bargain ship, basically. <laughs> I don't want to cry, <laughs> um, but you know, it's not easy to find good people in this world. And you know, my parents were so good and they really taught us and me to, to be the best person we can be. And they, they were my compass, you know, my mom was my compass and you know, I don't have that anymore. But um, I'm very thankful that she was in my life 38 years. I can take the values she gave me, pass it on. That's what I missed.